The story of the Neanderthals isn't one of a sudden, single extinction event. It was a fading, a slow dimming of a light that had burned for hundreds of thousands of years. But where did that light finally flicker out? Where were the last Neanderthals, and what were their final days like? For a long time, this was an unsolvable mystery. But advances in radiocarbon dating are now allowing scientists to pinpoint the final chapters of their story with incredible precision. The evidence points to one primary last refuge, the southern coast of the Iberian Peninsula in modern-day Spain and Gibraltar. This region, with its relatively milder Mediterranean climate, seems to have been a holdout. While glaciers advanced and retreated across northern Europe, this southern corner provided a more stable environment. Here, the classic megafauna and Neanderthals relied on like mammoths and woolly rhino persisted longer. It was a bastion, a final stronghold against a changing world and the expanding presence of Homo sapiens. The Rock of Gibraltar, in particular, is a crucial site. Evidence from Gorham S. Cave suggests a population of Neanderthals survived here until as recently as 39, 30, 50, 3rd, 41,000 years ago. They were living on a diet rich in seafood dolphins, monk seals, and mussels supplemented with hunting and pine nuts. They were using sophisticated stone tools and even engaged in what might be early symbolic behavior, etching abstract patterns into the cave floor. But even in this refuge, the pressures were immense. The Campanian Ignimbrite volcanic eruption, around 40,000 years ago, would have caused a volcanic winter. Devastating ecosystems across Europe, this climatic catastrophe would have pushed even the most resilient populations to the brink. And then there was us. Homo sapiens were not just competitors for resources. We were competitors with a different kind of social and technological adaptability. We may have had larger social networks, more efficient projectile weapons, and a slight edge in exploiting a wider range of environments. The last Neanderthals weren't necessarily wiped out by war, but they were likely outcompeted and outnumbered. The current best evidence suggests that by about 40,000 years ago, the distinct Neanderthal lineage, as a separate population, had vanished from the fossil record. Their end was likely a quiet one, not a dramatic battle, but the gradual fading of a way of life. A small, isolated group, perhaps facing a particularly harsh winter or a failed hunt, simply didn't recover. But to say they vanished is not entirely accurate. They didn't just disappear, they merged. Genetic evidence proves that interbreeding was common. The last Neanderthals didn't just die, they had children and grandchildren with Homo sapiens. Their genetic legacy was absorbed into our larger population. So, the last Neanderthal didn't take a final, lonely breath in a cave. Instead, they live on.